Okay, look, let's get more because Gorman Hundel is CEO and founder of MIQ, which is a market intelligence data scientist. Actually, you're an online advertising business yes. as well. Hey, great to have you with Thanks us. For having me. So you've done this 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 big study. Um, is technology really? Is it going to change the way we shop? Kind of, it is in some ways already, isn't it? Consumers now are demanding convenience, demanding connectivity, and demanding speed. And that means they are trying to purchase things in the most convenient way, and that is through devices which are connected to the internet. Right. So, but to the point where I just asked that question, that could we get to the point? Well, I guess it is. I'm trying to work out if it's telling us already or advising us already what to buy, because some of these on Amazon, let's be frank, right? You, you buy something and something similar will pop up or say, you might like this. Yeah, well, as consumers, we're willing to give our data to these uh, providers of yep. these services. And in return, they are analysing our trends and giving us recommendations of what we might like. And as consumers, we are finding that more convenient, and that's why we're lapping So you think we do listen to it then? Yes. We do yes, listen to that yeah. as a consumer. Um, does it vary country to country? What did you find there? Yeah, the Chinese market is certainly leading the way here, right. where Chinese consumers are sort of 50% more likely to buy things through a connected device or a voice-activated mm -hmm. device than, say, US consumers are. And that's, I think that's because the Chinese consumer has sort of been bought up leveraging technology, sort of skipped the generation from going offline to online. They went straight to leveraging mobile devices and apps as a means of communicating and trading. And you also found out that, I, and I found, well, I found it interesting, but I also thought, well, maybe it is part of the, all the young'uns out there, the, the Gen Z and the, the millennials, that um, subscriptions, we're going to see, you know, a rise, a continual rise in subscription. We're talking about streaming things, streaming, aren't we? Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. In the TV world, that, that's where that world is going. People are now consuming TV through apps or yeah. through connected TVs. And there's a subscription war. Certainly we're seeing it in the US with the likes of HBO, Disney, Oh, they're all Netflix. coming out now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and there's a streaming war. And it's really going to actually come to a head, I think, over the next couple of years, where the content providers are going to have to decide whether they want a sort of ad-free model or an ad-funded model. Right. Because I think consumers right now are spending an average of about $19 a month on so these sort of streaming services, but their desire is only really to spend about 14 so it's going to come to right. a head whether they'll be willing to Are we pay more. prepared to, well, prepared to maybe pay less and take ads. That's right, yes. Mm. That's right. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you know what, I think what might surprise some viewers around the world, that if we look at the globe, there is still 50% of the world's population that are not connected to the internet. And that's just like, it's amazing. But once they get connected and we start, that's, gonna, that's a whole new arena, isn't it? That, they, they, they could change yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah, it's 50%, but each year that's growing by 4%. So hopefully within the next 10 years, we'll see over 90% of the world connected to the internet. Wow. Gorman Hundle, uh, short and sweet, but we appreciate it. Thank you Thank very you. much.